this video I'm going to talk about dieting again. So this is going to be an example. So you're dieting and you reached a plateau and now you have to drop calories. So a lot of people ask from which macro should I take those calories out? You know, which is a pretty good question. Like you, you just can't take some random calories out of your diet because that's going to fuck up your macros. So from which macro should you take the majority of your calories? So there's three macros, as you might know, protein, carbs, fats, pretty simple. Now your protein should always stay high. Like I said, because <clears throat> protein makes you retain muscle mass when you're dieting. So you need to take in at least one gram per pound body weight. Protein is gonna help, help you stay satiated. So you're not gonna feel hungry. It's gonna make you feel better. So your protein should always stay high. So you should never, never cut out calories out of your protein. You know, the only exception is when you're really at the end of your diet and you don't have anything else to cut out, then you cut out just a little bit of protein because you probably don't need that much because you weigh less. So you don't need that much at that point and then you can cut it out. But mostly protein, don't touch protein, you know, let it be, let it rust don't fuck with the protein now you got the carbs and the fats now fats are there for healthy hormone production so you feel better fats are also there for energy and also just for general health like it keeps your brain healthy your heart so your fat should also stay stay high but when you start dieting, your hat, your fats are pretty high, you know, no matter what. They're probably like 80, 90 grams, and your fats can go as low as 50 grams. You know, 40, 40 to 50 grams is still a safe amount to have fats at. So I say when you start out, you just do a mix of both. So take a little bit of carbs, like if you drop 200 calories you can take about 25 grams of carbs that's 100 calories and you can take about 10 grams of fat that's another 90 calories so that's 200 okay so just take 25 grams of carbs and 10 grams of fat and just every time you plateau you take a, a mix of both a little bit of fat a little bit of carbs and then when you're at the end of your diet, so you come to a point where your fats are at 50 grams or something like that, then you stop cutting fat and you only cut the remainder of your carbs because carbs, they aren't essential. You know, those fruits and vegetables that's needed, that's healthy, but traditional carbs, they aren't essential for your body so you can cut them out. They're not there for any specific vi health reasons so you cut out the carbs okay when you reach a point when you can no longer do a combination of fat and carbs just cut out the remainder of your carbs and then at the really end of your diet if you still haven't reached your goals and you still have to do one more you know do a few more weeks and you reach a plateau then you can take in take out a little bit of protein you know, so at the end of your diet, you're going to have a minimal amount of fat, you're going to have a good amount of protein, and you're going to have practically just a small amount of carbs. So mostly you should take your calories out from a mix both of carbs and fats, or if you don't want that, if you want to keep your fats high, then just take out your calories primarily out of carbs not protein it's either carbs or fats and at the end just carbs okay primarily you should just take your calories out of carbs but at the beginning when your fats are still high you can do a mix of both but traditionally take your calories out of carbs thanks for watching
I hope this video helped you out. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, definitely subscribe. Peace out.